Hey guys, um, so I thought we'd talk about some of the gear I have here in my studio, some of the more prominent pieces that um, are kind of cool to show off and I'll take this opportunity to show them off because Lord knows I spent a ton of time hunting for them, many many hours. This guy here uh, is modeled after an, o an old Moog modular. Uh, this is by Synthesis Technology out of uh, Texas, an amazing company. Um, and of all the modular companies that I've ha heard thus far, uh, these guys really have my favorite tones in uh, the modular sense. Um, these modules are modeled after old Moog equipment, uh, but they are not. I mean, they look pretty much the same. And it's a medium-sized system. I mean, if one had the money, you could just build panels and panels for days. Uh, but uh, it's also quite a lab experiment. You can get you know, lost for five hours just trying to create one sound. Uh, moving on, these are two uh, ARP 2600 modular synths, even though the modules aren't removable. I mean, they are in the back, you pull the panel out. But the great thing about it is it has patch points, so I can actually run cables from here to here to guitar effects pedals to anything else that's patchable. As long as it's got patch points, you can piggyback, piggyback the synthesizers as opposed to a lot of these others with no patch points, of course. This synthesizer right here is an Oberheim two voice, and uh, it is by far I can easily say of all the synthesizer manufacturers, uh, the Oberheim series of sound generators has my favorite tone ever. Period. I most identify with it. I find it the most gutsy, the most organic, the most warm, uh, richest, spikiest most aggressive tones, although you can get quite mellow, comforting, warm tones as well. A lot of bass sounds have been driven from this. Uh, I have an instrumental record under my alias Malibu that I'm just completing, uh, and I'm going to be you know, releasing that somehow to the world. Hopefully you'll hear that in the next year. That's the plan. But this keyboard is used all over that. Uh, this guy down here is one of my favorite like hot-rotted grandma organs, as I call them, I was telling you about, the Kahn Electric Band. Um, this instrument, uh, actually, you would have heard on the solo of Creeple People, uh, through a lot of my effects pedals and so forth. Got a sound that I was really, really proud of. And uh, so we use that, this keyboard on that song. Now, the funny thing about this instrument is that I only know of three others uh, friends have in LA and none of them work. This, this keyboard apparently was one of the most poorly constructed that we've ever come across in our vintage gear travels. But that of course, like many old synths, uh, is one of its merits. 